Hello friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our sixth video in Tkinter GUI application development uh, with Python 3. In the last video we have covered about text boxes in Tkinter and this was from the previous video. Uh, for example, if you write uh, a name and you, if you click on this, hello Parwiz. Uh, this was from the previous video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make combo box in Tkinter and uh, how you can add uh, functionality to your combo box. Okay, now let's get started. Uh, I have made a new Python file at name of combo box and also I'm going to copy my window code from the previous videos and paste it in my combo box like this. Just I'm going to change the a title to tkinter uh, uh, combo box now if I run this you can see I have a nice window after this uh, I'm going to define a new uh, method in here diff init UI and in this in diff init UI the first thing I need, I'm going to make a combo box. Self dot combo, and also I need to import TTK from Tkinter. Import TTK. Okay. Now in here, <coughs> TTK dot combo box. It needs some parameters. The first one is uh, self, and uh, the second one you can give it uh, the width, width of combo box. Width I give the width to uh, 15. Okay. Uh, now you can uh, add value to your, to your this combo box. Uh, self dot combo and give it values. Uh, for example, I'm going to add some fruits, apple, uh, pear, melon, watermelon, and banana. Okay, now you can grid your combo box, cell.combo.grid. Uh, this should be in column. I want to give this in column one and row zero. And after this, you can simply call your init UI. Let me run this. Yeah, you can see now I have a combo box with uh, apple, pear, melon, watermelon, and banana. Now, how you can add functionality to this? Uh, combo box for this I need uh, a label the first I'm going to make a label cell dot label ttk dot label cell and the text is select your favorite fruit okay now grid this cell dot label dot Great, and for this, I'm going to give the column to zero and row also zero. Let me run this. Yeah, now I have a label, uh, select your fruit, and also I have a combo box. Now I'm going to add a button um, at the bot at the end of this uh, combo box. Let me bring it in here. Self dot button ttk dot button self and uh, the text should be click me and grade this self dot button dot grade and for this for the button I need the column one and row one. Okay, now let me run this. Yeah, now I have a button click me. Okay, 
Uh, the first thing you need uh, for making functionality to your combo box, you should get this uh, uh, and put this values from this combo box. For this, uh, you can simply in here write, uh, for example, self dot my fruit, my fruit string var. It take it takes the and uh, the uh, values from the combo box and store it in my fruit variable. Okay. After this, uh, at the in here at the top, I'm going to define a method def click me. And in here, uh, you can simply write self dot label dot configure. The text is you have selected plus self dot my fruit dot get. Okay. Uh, now, and another thing you need, you should add this variable to your uh, combo box. And here you should add text variable, text variable, and cell dot my fruit. And at the end, you should add your comment to your button. Comment self dot click me. Okay. Now this is our code and this is completed. You can check. Now I'm going to run this. Hopefully uh, we don't get any error. Okay. Uh, now I have uh, my application, simple application. Let me choose uh, fruit, for example, melon. Yeah, you can see you have selected melon. If I choose, uh, for example, another one banana and if I click you have uh, selected banana and apple you have selected apple okay thank you guys uh, if you have any question please let me know and comment and for the further videos don't forget subscription of my channel